Hey, what's up guys? Guys, in today's video, I'll show you how you can communicate between a Lightning Web Component and a Visual Force page. Guys, Visual Force page can coexist with Lightning Web Component, but it is difficult to pass data between them and do the communication. So guys, to communicate between Lightning Web Component and Visual Force page, you need to take care of few things. So as the Visual Force page is going to be in its own iframe, so Visual Force page will be having its separate DOM elements and the window object will be completely different there. And the second thing is like Visual Force page will be having its separate origin. Like for Lightning experience at components, the origin URL will be ending with lightning.force.com. But for Visual Force page guys, it will be ending with visualforce.com. Now the question is why it is difficult to pass the data or do the communication if they are having its separate origins. So guys, it is due to browser's same origin policy and due to this policy, a page cannot send or receive code or data from a page of different origin. So in our case, the Lightning Web Component and Visual Force page will be having a different origin. So you cannot pass data from Lightning Web Component to VF page or VF page to Lightning Web Component. But guys, fortunately, we are having an API to do this stuff. So using that API, you can securely pass the data from Lightning Web Component to Visual Force page or from Visual Force page to Lightning Web Component also. So guys, in today's example, I'll show you a few examples through which you may pass the data or do the vice versa, like Visual Force to Lightning Web Component, Lightning Web Component to Visual Force. And also, I'll be discussing about one-to-one -one and one-to-many messaging scheme in this video. So let's start today's video, guys. I'm Kapil, your host, and you're watching Salesforce Bold. Alright guys, let's start today's video. So guys, in this video, there will be two examples basically. First will be uh, send data to Visual Force page using Lightning Web Component or Lightning Component. And the second will be send data to a Lightning Web Component using Visual Force page. Okay. And in that second example, guys, I'll also explain like what is one-to-one -one and one-to-many messaging scheme while passing the data between different origin. Okay. So guys, for that, I have already created the basic components here. So here you can see like uh, on the left pane, you can see like LWC to Visual Force and Visual Force to LWC. So on the left pane, I'm having an input, a button to pass the data to Visual Force page. And this is an embedded Visual Force page. It is inside an iframe. And on the right side, guys, you can see this is my lightning bulb component. Okay. And on my embedded Visual Force page, I'm having an input and a button to pass the data from that Visual Force page to my Lightning Web component. Okay, so guys, first we will try to pass the data uh, to Visual Force page from our Lightning Web component. So here I'm having a Visual Force page, which is sample Visual Force page, and the component is uh, send to Visual Force, send to VF. This is my component using which I'll be sending the data. Okay, let me move this other component beside now okay okay just a second yeah so guys this is my visual force page okay and this is my lightning web component okay so guys to pass the data from visual force to lightning web component as i as i have already explained like these two will be having its different url Okay, because like the, there will be different origin and for that iframe also like uh, we'll be having different DOM elements and the window object will be completely different for, for this iframe Visual Force page. Okay, so here what we will do guys, first we will pass the data from this LWC to Visual Force page. So for that we need the URL of the Visual Force page because like uh, okay, I think I missed to tell you the API name. So guys, to pass the data, we will be using the post message API. So this is basically a secure way to pass the data between different origins. Okay, so due to browsers, same origin policy, I mean, uh, a page cannot send or receive data from another page if it is having a different origin. This is a good thing. I mean, this is because of some security stuff, and which is good. But fortunately, we are having that post message API with us. So using post message thing, we will be passing the data. Okay. So for that, you need a URL. So guys, for a browser URL, it is like simply like for lightning experience, this is going to be your URL. Okay. Now, if you would like to check the URL for the Visual Force page, so for that, what you can do is like simply you can open a developer console or maybe you can search for a Visual Force page uh, from setup. 
and just try to run any VF page, okay? Let's suppose this one, okay? So this is going to be a Vizzle Force page URL, okay? So now I will go back to my component and here I will take a parameter. Let's name it Vizzle Force root, okay? And here I will paste the URL, okay? Now this is my Vizzle Force page URL and now on handle click which is basically buttons click i will pass this dot message which is having that inputs value to the visual force page okay so to pass the value guys first we have to get the window object of this specific iframe so we will do this dot template dot query selector and then here we will select the iframe okay and then from iframe we will get the content window okay all right now we will do window dot post message so guys here as we are passing the data using this window dot post message it means we know like this data is going to pass to a specific window okay so this is basically one to one messaging scheme where you are aware like this is going to be uh, pass to a specific uh, window because an iframe can only have one URL, right? So, I mean, it, it is not possible like in a single iframe, you can have multiple visual force pages, correct? So, this is a one-to-one -one messaging scheme. So, to post the message, you may simply do it like, first you have to pass the data, in my case, which is this dot message, and then you have to pass the URL of the origin, okay? So in our case, it is going to be a Vizzle Force page. So we will do this dot VF root. Okay. So that was the Vizzle, oh, sorry, that was the LWC part. Now on VF page, we have to create a listener and that listener will be listening to that message retrieved from the LWC. So for that, we will write a script here. Okay. Uh, Okay. Now here also we will have that origin URL first. So guys here, this visual force page will be <coughs> retrieving the data from a lightning web component. So here we will be having that lightning URL, which is going to be this one. Okay. Okay, cool. All right, now we will add event listener. So we'll simply do window dot add event listener message. Okay. Now here guys, we will check if the origin is the expected one. So we will do if event dot origin not equal equals to the lightning web components, the lightning experience origin. So in that case, return and let me just put comment here. So if it is not the expected origin, then in that case, you can return it directly here. Uh, you can also have a reject message from here. And if it uh, match the origin, then let me just use the data retrieved from that lightning web component. Okay. So document dot. So I will just uh, put my data inside this paragraph tag dot inner html let's name it text from lwc event dot data 
okay so guys this basically event.origin and lex.origin should be same in that case i mean even so we will be retrieving it from the lightning web component so the event.origin is going to be same like what we are having the lex.origin here and if you would like to check the values so you may just directly check it using i mean maybe you can have alerts here to check the values like if it match or not okay so let's try the functionality now okay it is deployed let's refresh this page okay this is lwc this is the force page okay somehow it is not loaded yet let me just check okay let me try it okay it is loaded now so now from this lwc i'm passing data to the visual force page and i will click on send to vf and you can see the text from lwc it is salesforce bolt okay so guys that's how you may pass the data from lwc to vf page now we will try to pass the data from visual force page to lwc and that is going to be a little bit different i would say let me show it to you now to pass the data from visual force to lwc i'm having a separate uh, visual force page here and this is the component like uh, send to lwc and uh, send to l uh, send vf to lwc okay so guys while passing the data from visual force page like uh, while we were while we were passing data to to a visual force page in that case we did like a window dot post message because as i said like there can only be one visual force page inside an iframe okay but while passing data to a lightning web component then in that case we will be using parent dot post message okay so while we will be using parent dot post message guys so the parent is a reference of your window in lightning experience where other lwc may also exist correct and if they are also having an event listener then uh, they will be also receiving that visual force page message and this is guys a one to many messaging scheme okay to avoid this what we can do is like while well, passing the message we can name our message okay we can put some name of our message and then while listening to it we can filter the data using an if condition inside that listener okay so i'll show you like how you can do that so first we will do the functionality here on the sample vf to lwc we'll be passing data to lwc okay so here first we'll create the data which is going to be inside that uh, message input so document dot cat element by id message dot value okay so now this is my data now instead of passing the data directly what we can do is we will create name of it so let's name it sample vf to lwc message okay so this will be the name of my data and let's pass it like this and now to pass the data we will do parent dot post message and here guys also we'll be using the same uh, parameters like message and the origin so first let me pass message and i have to take the origin also so i will be using okay now here i will be using the url of lightning web component so the target origin will be this one okay so this is going to be target origin and then we'll be using it here 
like this okay so now we have passed the message from Bezel force page now we have to get it in the lightning web component also so lightning web component I'm just having some text and the visual force page in an iframe and guys to add the visual force page in an iframe you may simply use the complete URL or you can also do it like slash apex slash visual force page name okay so now here I will get the data in connected callback okay so first I will just take the URL now here we'll be having the senders URL which will be visual force URL and that is here okay great now we will add the event listener here as well so to add the event listener we'll do window dot add event listener message okay now here we'll check the same thing if message dot origin not equal equals to vf origin that means not the expected origin so in that case we'll just do return okay otherwise we may handle the message so let's do it like so guys here also we'll be checking if message dot data dot name the name was sample bf guys this is also a very important thing like just to check like whether we are listening to the correct message if i mean right now we are not having multiple parents here but if there's a situation where you are having multiple lightning component listening to this okay so in that case you may check like if a lightning web component or a lightning component should listen to this specific listener or not so okay then in that case we will do this dot message from visual force page is equal to message dot data dot payload okay let's save it and hopefully this should work now okay so guys now on the right pane visual force to lwc we are passing data from this visual force to this above lwc so let's pass the data okay now i will click on the send to lwc okay it is not getting passed let's see if everything is saved okay i think the vf origin should not contain the slash guys if you also like have the situation where you are not able to debug then you may simply put some console logs or maybe alerts here in between your code just to check like till which line your code is working and then you can debug it easily like in my case i think this was the issue because the uh, origin the message dot origin will not will not be containing that and slash so maybe that was the reason so we'll get to know now yes that was the reason and you can see the message here that is from visual force to lwc okay Oof. so <clears throat> uh, i hope you enjoyed today's video guys and guys also I'll be having complete code, the LWC to VF phase and VF phase to LWC thing on my blog also, which is salesforceworld.com. So in case like 
If you don't want to watch the complete video, you can directly go to the blog always to get the complete code directly and feel free to use it as per requirement. So that it is for today, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.